Hello guys and welcome back to the ASUS North America YouTube channel. This is JJ and we're bringing you guys a brand new little format video that we have which is essentially is a quick speed tutorial. There won't be actually any overall detailing to help you understand all the settings that I'm going to be adjusting. So this is really for you advanced users out there that are interested in just getting a quick baseline on how to bin your CPU. Uh, these settings may not be 100 stable, for every single CPU out there, this is just a quick baseline to check the quality of your CPU. If you can use these corresponding values, you're going to have a great quality CPU in terms of effectively posting, booting, and passing stability testing. So with that, let's jump inside of our UEFI and show you some of the quick options on how to successfully overclock your CPU. Okay guys, we've gone ahead and jumped into the UEFI. Make sure to go over to support.asus.com to get the latest version of the UEFI. So first up, we're just going to go ahead and quickly set our XMP profile or manual mode up to you. From here, just going to go ahead and define our multiplier. So we're going to go with 46. Most CPUs are only going to hit 44 to 46. So I'm just going to define that in. Cache ratio is going to help to maintain the best performance all around. And we have our memory divider. And we're going to drop down and go ahead and select a voltage as well. We're going to use an adaptive voltage. So it's going to be 1.2. Keep in mind, if you're going to run stress tests, you should probably run a manual voltage from there. That's it. Don't worry about anything else. And we're going to reboot. So once again, guys, just for you guys on reference, uh, these settings right here are really only going to work for the best quality CPUs that are going to be out there on the market. Most CPUs are only going to hit between 44 to 45x. Um, this is just a quick and easy way to check what the initial quality of your CPU is. If it can post, boot, and pass ability testing at 4.6 with a native cache ratio of 46 and a high memory divider and at that 1.2 voltage, you've got an outstanding quality CPU. If not, watch our over advanced overclocking a tutorial which goes into a little bit more detailing or make sure to check out the link which takes you to our uh, forum guides which go extensively into understanding overclocking on this platform and how to best tweak and tune it specific to your system to be able to maximize your overclocking potential. Uh, from here, just going to go ahead and verify for you guys that we've successfully done that 4.6 gigahertz and that 2400. So we're just going to go ahead and check that here. And uh, here we can see that we've got 2400. CPU is not under load, uh, but we'll go ahead and put it under load for you guys just for reference. And just go ahead and disable GPU because we don't need to worry about that. And we can see right there, 46 at 2400. Pretty straightforward, guys. So let's wrap it up. Okay, guys, so that gives you a quick and easy way to just quickly bin through your CPU uh, the, on Z87 ASUS series motherboards for any of the uh, K-series parts for Z87s, 4770K or 4670K. If you guys like this kind of quick tutorial with just kind of quick breakdown on settings that you can try, uh, please let us know here in the comments section. Feel free to go ahead and also let us know on our either our Facebook pages or our, our Twitter pages. And as always, if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure and like it as well as subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching.